Hello YouTube. On May 28, in the year 1891, the small Danish village of Gundestrup witnessed an important discovery which was made by chance. You see, a group of peat harvesters uh, was immersed in their routine work at the fox swamp. Suddenly, under a layer of peat, one of the workers noticed some plates with patterns. He did not even suspect that this find would excite the minds of scientists well after 100 years after this discovery. From under the peat, the workers extracted 12 darkened silver plates, richly decorated with embossed images, as well as a silver bowl. As it turned out later, the bowl was the bottom and the plates were the walls of that bowl. It had an impressive 65 centimeters in diameter and weighed 8.89 kilograms. Although it is not correct to call it uh, a ball or a cauldron because the, in fact it is a large ceremonial vessel consisting of plates intricately decorated with many stunning and in many ways mysterious images like that man riding a fish and more. Scientists still disagree about the dating of this ball or cauldron. Moreover, the estimates cover a wide range from 300 BC to 300 AD, covering almost six centuries. The exact origin of the Gundestrup um, ball or cauldron also remains the subject of scientific debate. The craftsmanship of its manufacture involves the fusion of styles of various cultures, including Celtic, Thracian, and Scythian influences. This, inf this fusion hints at the interconnectedness of ancient societies through trade, migration, or shared cultural practices that shaped the ancient world. But of course, the most interesting and mysterious are the images on the plates. As I said, uh, this bowl consisted of 12 plates, seven external and five internal. Each of the outer plates depict some deities and hands with palms as an important functional element. Some deities apparently are female, distinguished by the absence of a beard and the presence of conditional breasts. Male deities, on the contrary, show well-groomed beards and hairstyles. All deities except one have a torques around their necks, symbolizing divine protection. While torques or torque is a large, rigid or stiff neck ring in metal made either as a single piece or from strands twisted together. Torques have been found in Scythian, Illyrian, Thracian, Celtic, and other cultures in the European Iron Age period from around 8th century BC to the 3rd century AD. For Iron Age Celts, the gold torque seems to have a seems to have been a key object. It identified the wearer, apparently usually female until the 3rd century BC, and thereafter male, as a person of high rank, and many of the finest works of ancient Celtic arts are torques, or torques. Celtic torques disappeared in the migration period, but during the Viking Age, torque-style metal necklaces Many in silver came back into fashion. Similar neck rings are also part of the jewelry styles of various other cultures and periods. The inner side of the cauldron or the ball consisted of five plates, each of which depicts the convergence of deities and animals. This is the most colorfully seen in the image of Sertunos, the horned god, the lord of beasts, this scene embodies the fusion of the human 
the animal and the di- divine, a theme that resonates with different cultures and eras. And I did a video not long ago about the so-called Lord of the Beasts. You can find it in my channel. But perhaps the most mysterious scene adorns the bottom of the cauldron, the bull frozen as if in death agony or mortal agony dominates in the center. Its shape is carefully outlined, complemented by a characteristic scrotum and a tail resembling an ear. At the top, there is a female figure in armor resembling Hallstatt breastplates with a raised sword in her hands. Maybe she was an Amazon. A dog-like creature is depicted in front of her, while a long-legged, four-legged creature lies under the feet of the bull. There are many interpretations of this scene. It could be a ritual image associated with the cult of Mithras, or an acrobatic performance associated with ancient Cretan, from Crete, Mycenaean culture. But what it really is, it is not known for certain. Recent studies suggest an East Celtic origin of this object, of this cauldron or a bowl, with a strong influence of Thracian culture. But these are all hypotheses, and we actually may never fully unravel, find out its secrets. But we'll keep looking for similar discoveries. And I'll bring you more stories like this from the world of archaeology about the same area and, of course, other parts of Eurasia and the world that I find interesting. And you can support my research through the links you'll find in the description to this uh, video. Please like my videos. Please tell others about my channel. Please subscribe. Thank you for your attention to my work.